Hello. Any advice for someone who allows worry to get in the way of everything that they do? I always worry about being too old to fulfill my purpose and losing my loved ones. I worry way too much. Well, worry loves to occupy where worship should be. Uh, the Bible says, uh, "Be not, uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is a reasonable worship. The goal should not be focusing on what you're worrying about uh, or, or what is causing worry. Your goal, your life should be focused on worship. Worship is not just uh, reserved for an 11 o'clock hour on a Sunday or at a worship concert with Maverick City Elevation and such, right? Worship is about what you do in everyday life is giving your life as a uh, as a sacrifice while living sacrificing its cares sacrificing its worries sacrificing its passions for a greater goal right and so now you got to write down a sheet of paper everything that you're worrying about and then the next thing I want you to ask yourself, what are these things distracting you from in regards to worship? See, when you worship God and you know God for who he is and you desire to serve him, no matter what the cause is, then that will, think, that will cause you not to stress so much about what it is that you're worrying about, right? And so worrying is a habit. And you have to break that habit by finding what the root reason is for the worry. The Bible says in the word of God says, be anxious for nothing, meaning that's a command. God says, there's no reason. No, no reason, no need for you to worship because I am God. I am fully capable and able to sustain anything in life, whether it not, whether it wants me to sustain or not, I can sustain it, right? And so you have to begin to understand why God commanded. And the only way you can understand why God commands a thing by getting to know the character of him. When you know God's character in every area that you worry, that he is well able by his riches and glory to provide for all of your needs, then you will be able to cast those cares knowing that he is capable right and so if you begin to say that i worry in everything that i do you got to find god in everything that you've done find god in everything that you do doing and find god in everything that you would desire to do and then that will build some level of trust and some validity in his character that will help you carry on in faith and not worrying he says any advice for someone who allows where the goal is you allowing worry you have to get, you have to allow worship. You have to allow focus. You got to allow discipline, but you allowing a culprit called worry to come in, to get in the way of everything that um, you do. So now you got to be able to say, okay, why do I lack confidence in God and everything that I do? Next point, he says, I always worry about being too old to fulfill my purpose. That's something that you can't consume yourself with. For instance, I tell people all the time, don't worry about the what, when, and the where. No, don't worry about the when, the where, and the how. Just worry about the who and the why. When you worry about the who, no, not why, the who and the what, when you focus on the who, who you need to be in God, who God is to you, and what he has called you to do last, God will take care of the when, the where, and the how. That is his responsibility. And you're never too old. I mean, look at John the Baptist's mom. She was not too old to fulfill her role in God's uh, 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 um, plan of life. So you got to reprogram your mind to think differently in that area. So you, when you say you always worry about being too old, age is nothing but a number, the psalmist Aaliyah says. And your purpose is in, the, in, is in the person of God and in your fellowship and partnership with him. And when it comes to loving lo loved ones, that's a part of life. A lot of things that we face in life is a part of life. And when you can make sense of death, then you can see the benefit and the value of life. So instead of worrying about losing your loved ones and loving them more than they desire to be loved, love them accurately knowing that if their hearts is right with God, they'll see God and trust that if they not say it, that God will sustain them if their hearts desire. And so if you worry away too much, it's now time for you to meditate on some scriptures that will help you begin to process those different things so that you can overcome that worry. Worrying is a waste of time, especially when you know God can do anything. Worrying will leave you embarrassed at the end because worrying will have you waste so much energy that you'll be too tired to enjoy your blessing. So the Bible talks about casting your cares onto him for he cares for you. Now you have to go into God's word and begin to understand why God or how does God care for me? And when you understand the love of God, it will loosen those shackles off of your feet so that you can dance. Shout outs to Mary Mary.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to engage more content, make sure you check out the videos over here. If you want to learn more about the books that I've written or the cards that I've created or ways that you can support and engage with what I do online, make sure you check out the links in the description box below. And if you've been watching this far, you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, and make sure you leave a comment. I would love to read it and would love to engage and be your coach online. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.